Right, so as you can see, it's lovely outside this morning, so we are good to go. We're up early, the sun has just come up, and our plan is to get up past Oban today. Let me just show you on the maps what I'm talking about. Here's the UK, if I just zoom in a little bit now to the red triangle, this is where we are at the Ardvern Yacht Centre, so we're going to be coming down here. Got to be careful around this bit here, lots of rocks, and we've got a time of arrival here to get the North Going Flood. And then once we can get that, we're up here. This is Oban. We're going to go past Oban. Uh, this is Mull. And the plan is, at the moment, and this might change, but at the moment we're going to be heading for Loch Aline. Might change our minds, continuing up the sound of Mull. We might go to Tobermory today, but we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, looking at the winds, uh, we've got some nice winds today uh, to push us up. So the little white dot is where we are right now. And then we just run the sequence through, as you can see. This is where we're going, up here, and then up here, and this is Lockerline just there. So we've got some nice winds to blow us up uh, for the rest of the day. So, plan now, go and get a quick shower, have something quick to eat, and we'll be slipping the lines very, very soon. Right, we've just left Ardfern Yacht Centre, had a lovely stay there. The best showers I've used in Scotland for a long time. Um, so we are now heading up towards Oban. Don't know whether we're going to go to Tobermory yet, or maybe stop before that at Lockerline. Uh, but our first obstacle is a couple of nautical miles ahead of us. We've got to get around a little point called Doris Moor. And uh, we've had to time our departure to hit the tide because you can't go against the tide. The tide's coming this way, we were going to go that way. It would have been very nice. So we've waited for the tide to turn to go that way and we're going to go with the tide and hopefully it'll be plain sailing. We'll see if we've timed it right, shall we? No one else has left yet, so I'm a bit worried. How many times have we checked? Oh, today, probably five times, and probably yeah. yesterday, 20 times. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> if we're wrong, uh, yeah, it'll be a bit of a surprise, it won't will it? Be, uh, yes, it'll be a nightmare. But, we'll see. <laughs> but then we've got the tide behind us all the way up, haven't we? Yeah, so. and the wind behind us as well. So whilst it's a bit blowy and a bit uncomfortable and a bit chilly now, hopefully, once we turn the corner and we go up, we'll have the, uh, we'll have the wind behind us. That's the theory anyway. Right, we've been going about half an hour. All is well so far. And uh, we just had a good set of that marina, didn't we? I'm most impressed with it. Yeah, fantastic. Old Fern. The place was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we uh, loved the pub, the gallery of lawn. We were in there probably far too long. Two, two nights running. Yep. Drinking too much Guinness. Yep. We met Chris from Troon. Yeah. Hello, Hello Chris. Chris. Hello mate. <laughs> Thank new you. subscriber. Thank you for uh, stopping us having one and making us have at least three. <laughs> yeah. Possibly yeah. four <laughs> in David's case I think. Right, you know. <laughs> and uh, we had a lovely breakfast in um, Lucy's. Yeah. Uh, that so was well that. worth going there. Yeah. And as I mentioned before the showers in the marina the best I've used in Scotland. There's only three of them, so there was a bit of a queue this morning, but uh, they're clean, they're modern, nice powerful water, 10 out of 10 I'd say. Yeah, yeah. and a great great marina, a great chandlery. Yeah, yeah. So, oh the chandlery, yeah. Fantastic. Well stocked, very yeah. nice. We always like a good chandlery. Oh yeah, always good to kill half hour, 40 minutes in a chandlery looking at stuff you don't need. Buy a new house that you didn't yeah. need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, the rain is about to start. It's raining! And we are not far now from turning the corner, so we'll see how choppy it is in a minute. And we need the spray up. Yeah. I think we timed it. I think we timed it just right. We've kept the engine revs the same, and when we left the marina, coming down the lock, we were doing 3.8 knots. And now, just turning this corner, our speed over ground has now increased to 6.2 knots. Right, well it's amazing what a few minutes can do. Look at the sunshine now. We had a lot of rain before, we've turned that corner, and uh, we are heading up towards Oban. The sun has come out, and been playing with the cheat sheet again to make us go a little bit faster. There's a couple of sailing boats behind us, so we're obviously unofficially in a race. Can't let them catch us, can't let them overtake us. So uh, the cheat sheet has come in handy again. It's giving us an extra knot. Yeah. 
Yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, an extra knot, which is good. Uh, with a bit of playing with the Genoa car. And uh, we're now doing five knots. And we've uh, we've got yeah about 12 knots of wind, I think, behind us. True. Yeah, very good. Right, so this is the cheat sheet. If you missed this in an earlier episode, this is what I produced for uh, trimming the sails depending on the various wind conditions. We've got reaching on this side. If I turn the page over, on this side we've got upwind sailing. So we're on a bit of a reach at the moment. So various settings for light, medium and heavy winds. What you do to the backstay, the bang, the outhaul, the Genoa cart and the shoveler. And we've been playing with all these things here just to uh, see if we can get a little bit of extra speed out of the wind. And if you'd like a copy of this, if you go to the Sailing Madness website, you can download it for free from the website sailingmadness.co.uk although I do ask for a little little donation that's all voluntarily Dave? Yep. Yep. Not today. Not today, he's not got the motor on. No. Basically, we've run out of fuel, that's why. <laughs> no motoring madness today. Well, for the first time, we're passing Flatter Lighthouse. Right, so that's the Firth of Lawn done. That's off the bucket list. And now we just turn the corner into the Sound of Mull. It's going all right, isn't it? I like the Sound of Mull. <laughs> You like the sound of mull? Mainly because the tides are with us and we're doing about eight knots into the sound of mull. And we've only got the headsail out as well. We've been flying, it's been fantastic. But we have made a decision, we mentioned earlier on whether we couldn't decide whether we're going to go to Tobermory or to Loch Aleen. Yeah. Um, I think the decision is Tobermory but looking on marine traffic there's quite a few boats heading there as well. Yeah so I think we'll give them a call and uh, you can't book a space so uh, We'll give them a call and see what they say, whether they say they're very full uh, or not. And if they are very full, then we'll go to Lochaline and then we'll head up to Tobalbury tomorrow to anchor up before a bit of a blow comes through for the evening. You're right in the dry there. Are you right? <laughs> I'll get wet. I found a little space under the canopy. It's chucking it down. The wind suddenly turned onto the nose. For no apparent reason, it doesn't make any sense. And uh, Dave's a little grumpy at the moment, to be fair. I think he was hoping to get his shorts back on, his cap off, get a bit of a tan. Um, but uh, I'm sure it'll be brighter in Tobermory. So we've got about 19 minutes to go and we'll be in Tobermory. The sun has come out, but I'm a bit worried that we're not going to get a space. Earlier on this afternoon when we phoned them, they had 10 available. Robin phoned them a couple of minutes ago and they've got less than five now. And uh, I've got a feeling we could be a, a little bit unlucky here and not find a slip. We shall see. What's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to go? It's Tobalmori. 
Balamori. Tobal Mori. <laughs> no, but the TV was Balamori, wasn't it? Oh, okay. The children's TV. Yeah, you, you need to be British and have children of a certain age to have got that. It's very pretty. Something on it. So, we're heading into a marina over there. We're just going to see if we can get a spot and then uh, we will show you more. Right, so what's your first impressions of Balamori then? Tobermory. <laughs> it's Balamori, isn't it? If you've got kids of a certain age and if you're British, what's the story in Balamori? This is where they filmed it, wasn't it? What's, what, what, how does it go? What's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to go? Yes, it's here. It's fabulous. <laughs> Tobermory. So look over there, Tobermory is very colourful. <laughs> it is very colourful. It's very nice. colourful. Yeah. So we arrived last night and uh, we found uh, just a little restaurant on the marina because we were both knackered and we couldn't be bothered walking into the town. Uh, now we've uh, woken up the next morning, no sunshine, but the winds are picking up today so we're staying here for another night. So it's a bit like that at the moment isn't it? It's a, yeah, it's just it's a day of, day of okay, very good winds yesterday, it was perfect wasn't it? It was absolutely sailing. perfect sailing day. We sailed for eight hours yesterday. Yeah it was yeah. Um, and the scenery is just even it was sunshine sometimes, grey other times, but uh, really dramatic, wasn't it? it was yeah. Fa fabulous. Well worth yeah. coming. Yeah. So uh, we've now sussed the place out and uh, we think we know where we're going to eat tonight. Yeah. Well, we've got a couple of them, didn't we? But I think now it's time to get a coffee. Let's have a coffee somewhere. Yeah, it's a bit early for a Guinness, and, yeah. uh, but we've sussed where you can get one later. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we've got you all sorted. Yep. <laughs> but well worth coming here. If you're ever in the area, on a boat or in the car, Get yourself to Tobermory. What a you must place. visit Balamori. Yeah. Absolutely. You look at that, you look for that on the map and you yeah, you you'll be there a while. And when you come in <laughs> down the road and you see the coloured buildings, you'll sing that song, I guarantee it. Yeah. He's got me trekking to a bloody lighthouse. He doesn't realise he's off the weight as me. Look at him, bounding on ahead. It's not all about the water, is it, all the time? Look at, we're on the Isle of Mull, we're trekking on the Isle of Mull. Trekking on, heart attack on the Isle of Mull. <laughs> Who's the nearest hospital? Look, there's people sailing, to be fair. Don't show them that, otherwise they'll say, why aren't you out there sailing? It's not a trekking channel. It's not, is it? It is meant to be getting much windier later. Oh, look, it's a bit rough around there, look. Yeah, you can see a bit of white caps. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the reason why we've done two nights here in Tobermory because the winds are picking up from what four o'clock? Yeah. This afternoon, yeah. it's about one o'clock now, so uh, they are building slowly. It keeps pushing back. It was lunchtime, then it's moved back to like four o'clock. So if we stay here today, then tomorrow we get sail from lunchtime tomorrow, don't we? And we're going to take you. We're going over there. We'll do a better video in a minute. Over there, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. That's if I make it there without having a heart attack. <laughs> I actually want his boat, that's what it is. That's what, this could be the last video of Dave's sailing madness. Yeah, could be Robin's sailing madness from next week. Robin's walking madness yeah. from next week. <laughs> Look, he's off. See, can't wait, he's off. Come on, Dave, come on. Okay, so we've got Dave. We've he's done one and a half kilometres. We've got another half kilometre to go to the lighthouse. So we're still going to get there, but we stopped because this is the view across to Loch Sunart. I'm saying that correctly. Um, there's a place up there, we carry on up there, beyond where you can see, behind, between the hills, 
uh, and there's a place called Salem uh, that we want to go and try and anchor at tomorrow afternoon. So that's the plan, so that's where we'll be taking you tomorrow. Hopefully, in slightly better conditions than it's going to be this afternoon. Although, you can see all the boats are coming in now. They've, our plan was, if we didn't get to Tobermory last night, we were going to make our way down here now. So we would have been one of those boats coming in now, wouldn't we? Because they're all getting out of the weather this afternoon. Very, very cool here. Well, I think it was worth a heart attack getting it. Was it? Trekking with Dave could be a whole new channel. I think we've <laughs> launched you into a whole new thing here. But I'm not sure it's always like this, to be fair, Dave. It's a bit like sailing. Trekking's not always leading you to a place that's absolutely stunning like this. It is stunning, isn't it? It is lovely. And we're here on a horrible day. You can you imagine this in the sunshine? It would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Let's do a pirouette here. Yeah. Let's do a 360. See if we can do a pirouette without falling in. You're trying to push off the rocks now, aren't you? Yeah. You, yeah. you still yeah. have to be boat, aren't you? be on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Look. There it is. Hey, look at that. There it's we very go. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is lovely, joking aside. It's stunning, isn't it? Come to Mull. Yeah. Definitely come to Mull. Come to Mull. Get a heart attack, walk into a lighthouse. <laughs> Sheer exertion <laughs> has thrown not only Dave's body out, but also his shoelace. He was throwing his feet forward so quickly on the hike. He's never done this before, he doesn't realise you have to go relatively slow, and then your shoelaces stay done up. Go slow? <laughs> Robin walks faster than I can run. <laughs> That's why I'm knackered keeping up with him. I'm there. Uh, I'm a bit worried we've been going backwards, we've been going that slow. Come on, off you go. Alright, come on. There you go. I'll go in front so I can set the pace. Okay. I did once do Kilimanjaro, you know. I didn't mention that to you. Did you? Yeah, I did. Uh, in 2008. Did you have Sherpas carrying your bags for you? Oh, that was harsh, wasn't it? That was hard. It's true though, yes I did. <laughs> <laughs> You would too, but up there, you literally got to put one foot, your toe, the heel of your one foot has to go in front of the toe of your other foot. So you walk like that. Walk like that? Yeah, and that is the speed you're allowed. You go and walk now, see how fast you can, and that is the speed you're allowed to walk. That's it, that's it. Now you wouldn't want to do that for a few drinks, would you? I wouldn't want to do it now. Yeah, but that's the speed because it's so steep and, the, and the, there's not so much oxygen that you can only do that speed. It's not just for everybody listening. It's not. It, it's the last day is tough. It's not as tough. It, if you're relatively fit, you can do it. So if you're thinking about doing Kilimanjaro, no, I'm not. I would recommend it. I think full full respect for you for doing it. But if I'm honest, I'd rather <laughs> shit my hands and clap. This is what I go hiking for. We can only go hiking where there's a pub. <laughs> and that just about does it for Dave and Robin for today. Thanks for sticking with us until the end. Remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. And if you've not done so already, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, put them in the box below. We really do enjoy reading all your feedback to our videos. The more likes, subscriptions and comments this episode receives, the more likely YouTube is to recommend us to people who may not have found us yet. So you can really help the channel grow by hitting the thumb, subscription and comment buttons. Finally, if you'd like to support us financially, why not become a patron? For a small monthly fee of just £6 a month, you can support the making 
future videos. We're not asking you to fund our lifestyle, unlike some sailing channels. We're just asking for a contribution towards the cost of producing these videos. All patrons get early ad-free access to all episodes, exclusive behind the scenes video content and membership to a private WhatsApp group where you can keep in contact with us. To find out more about becoming a patron, please click the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.